Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I am Crash Rouser, and once again, time to Crash Scans with another episode of the Honesty Half Hour here on the channel. This is a series where I take every single Skylander ever. <laughs> Except for series two, three, four, minis and variants, put them on the portal and give them an definitive rating of one to five, one being the worst, five being the best. This is a great series, and you're great for watching it. You're great, you're amazing, I love you all so much, and don't ever forget it. <laughs> that was a 139 as the lighting changed when I leaned forward and leaned back. I have curtains now, isn't that great? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to bring another episode of this series. If you don't know what this is, there is 138 other episodes of this series, but there's something special about these. The previous episode, this episode, and the next episode, Giants are still out of it. As of this recording, I probably, or as of this episode's out, I probably have Giants long done, so don't worry about that. It'll be coming back, but as of this recording, Giants is not ready on, tr on the Xbox yet. So they may be coming back. We may not even have a Spider's Adventure character today. Who knows? I don't know. Because it's randomly chosen. Because if you did not know how I pick Skylander, all the Skylanders that haven't had an episode yet are put away in these tubs. She's still snacking. Can't believe it took her a whole week to get through this. Probably gonna have next week too, I bet. So all the Skylanders in those tubs that haven't had an episode yet are put into a random name picker. So I click to spin at whatever Skylar comes up. That's the Skylar I'm delegating the half hour to. And as you've seen from the names, you just gotta go back and just pause it for a second. There's 29 Skylanders left. Again, the three, three left from Giants are missing. They will be in a future episode, of course. And of course, the series finale is going to be my all-time favorite Skylander of Bash, if you guys are wondering. Spoiler already, I know, I've said it. I think I said like episode one, so it doesn't matter. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to bring you another episode of the series. So I'm going to be giving the Skylander the most fair run. I'm playing with them in their own game, and I'm going to be doing every single move I can to give them the best possible rating in the long run. We are very close to finishing three games. Spyro's Adventure, Giants, and Superchargers. But we got to get to them. So let's click to spin, see who's next for episode 139. Let's go. So you can see a lot of names still represented. Every game still represented. We gotta spin the wheel and give it honesty. Thir 29 entries. Who do we have today? Could be another trap team core, just like last week. Could be an imaginary. We still have a lot of those left. <coughs> I can choke. Hey, I jinxed it. This is gonna be a fun one because something special about Cobra Cadabra. So, just like Chompy Mage, I don't have the regular version of Cobra Cadabra. I have King Cobra Cadabra, and he's still in the box, thanks to my friend Brylander. So if you remember the Spotlight episode, um, it's actually it's a P.O. box. I think it's one of like the first P.O. on a box now since I got rid of the first two. Um, Cobra Cadabra is still in the box for that reason. My friend Brylander of Portal Power TV sent me Spotlight and King Cobra Cadabra still in the box, and I decided to keep it in the box because why not? King Cobra Cadabra is a sky that I've played with a few times. I've given him a few runs with him. But he hasn't had the full time of day. Now, interestingly, he's already retired to the shelf. He's been on the shelf the whole time there. He's actually on the bottom left, right at the bottom of all the Spyro's Adventure characters. You go all the way to the bottom, he's there, still in the box, along with Spotlight and a couple other Skylanders. But this is a Skylander I'm very excited to try. Because I never really gave him the full run. And in Trap Team, you gotta do it. So let's put him on the portal and get this started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, 20 minutes are on the clock. Cobra Cadabra is up. King Cobra Cadabra, to be precise. Remember, I do not have regular Cobra Cadabra. On a scale of one to ten, I'm an Ooh. So I think... Okay, I don't have all of his abilities yet. So this is going to be a fun episode. We have to work on getting the rest of his abilities. So his main move, of course, is where he shoots magical bursts of magical blast enemies with the magic pungy flute. Pretty good. Circle is he lobs Cobra Baskets, which damage enemies nearby to the beat. Magic Flute does more damage, and you press Triangle, does a big lunge forward. You can shoot five Cobra Baskets up to once. This is more damage, and I decided to go with the top one to be able to do a bouncing move, which is good. Um, a level up. This one here is the Enchanted, which I don't have at the moment. And this one is to do a bunch of Cobra Baskets around. So let's just quickly swing over to Personify over here. For those who don't know, I know her name is Persephone. I call her Personify. 
you want to know what was hilarious? Me trying to not say her name as Personify when I was talking about her in one of my lists a while back, or my ranking series. So I don't have enough yet. So I think the easiest way to do it is to just do a level. What do you guys think? We're just going to do a level. And what do you guys think in the future? What's my controller doing, by the way? I need to check this real quick. We're good. Okay. We're just checking my controller. That popped up on the screen, which is funny. Uh, let's do Time Town. You know what? I, I feel like Time Town doesn't get the love it deserves. By the time this video is out, I wonder if my every Trap Team level ranked video is out. Timer did start, right? I did, okay. So we are going to be going around destroying like everything to get money. <laughs> it's a Da Vinci! See, a lot of people don't like Time Town for Da Vinci, but he's the best part. I'm letting him talk, by the way. I'm not skipping Triangle. Da Vinci! Bald Screaming Man. I wonder who that is. There we go. Cool. My my new phone, because I, I don't know if you were if you guys seen last episode. I do have a new phone since the last time I recorded. So right now my um I'm still getting used to the phone because I've only had it for like three weeks. Actually not even that. Because I got it right before I got COVID. Like literally right before I got COVID. Good time. It gave me gave me got me used to the phone real quick. Um so there's still little things I haven't done with it yet and I'm still getting used to. Like the timer, for example, I have not heard it go off. Because last episode I turned off the timer before it actually ended. So far, so good, he says. That's the new Chainsmokers album. I've listened to it twice now. My favorite song it is, is it, on it is I Love You. So if you guys are wondering what my favorite Chainsmokers song is off the new album, So Far, So Good, it's I Love You. It's the catchiest. Dun, da, dee, dun, dee, da, da, somebody da, be, da, da. That's a lyric. It's like an anime girl or something. <laughs> We're getting some money at least. Our goal is to get up. Oh, I didn't actually stop. I just realized I never went and said, oh, here's his moves. So his main move, of course, is this one here. As you can see, some of them shoots more. There's just a random color. I don't know if that makes a difference. The biggest one is you can shoot these guys. One, two three they keep falling off the edge just realize one two three four five look at all my friends and one disappears and they actually can all hurt enemies you can see i can shoot them they can bounce around and my other move is yeah we conk good to take out some enemies there so when we get to actual enemies i can take a look there is that a scroll over there oh it is what i've never gotten this scroll I forgot, I actually don't have this game story beaten. <laughs> like the hundred like one hundred percent of Mysteries of Boom. We'll give it a read. Besides being an awesome pilot and great hero, I'm also pretty good at math. For example, I can divide any two numbers and never get a remainder. That's I'm not good at math, but I don't think that's a real thing. Anyways. It's fine. We'll let it slide this time. Ha ha, he says. Let's hop down here. We're exploring Time Town today, ladies and gentlemen. We're actually going to explore. There must have been something else down here. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> he says. There had to have been something else down here if I just went down there and nothing was there. <laughs> I must have did that, like, when I played the level. Someone's like, Chris, just go go back to your Trap Master Lock. That's where you did it. Trap Master Lock was recorded on a different save. Dummy. Haha, proved you wrong yet again. We're coming up with an enemy here now, so we'll actually be able to fight someone. I think we'll let the snakes do all the work. What do you think? Snakes? Like, let the snakes do all the work? Here we go. Phew. 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 Come on, snakies. Let snakes do all the work. Oh, why did Cross Crow go all the way over there? Anyways. Oh, strange. There we go. Look at that! Sick, dude! That was actually kind of smooth. That was actually pretty smooth. So you guys are probably saying, Crash, you're playing as Cobra Dabber. He's only level 9? Yeah. 
realize that when I did my um, Trap Master or Trap Team Core ranking video, that was the first time I've ever actually played as Cobra Cadabra. Oh, this is where he wants uh, Crankcase to destroy everything. But we do not have any of the villain crystals near us. It's right behind me, technically. But uh, I don't want to go. I don't want to grow back and grab those. We're not going to be doing the villain quests and stuff. That'll be for a live stream at one point. Yeah, yeah, here we go. We'll be doing a bunch of more live streams in the future, I promise. Actually, I gotta record that video today, I just remembered. <laughs> Very special video I have to film today. Oh, yeah. So good. Sounds so good. That one person who don't like, like Time Town, you're a dummy. You don't deserve happiness. Snake, 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 shiver a snake, 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 shiver a snake. Here we go. Oh, geez, things coming down. We'll destroy them though. He he he, dummy. I like how they're bouncing off a wall, but there's no walls. I like the fact that I can throw these snakes down and they actually do damage to the little dudes, so like... Oh! Okay, never mind. Didn't think it would do that, but... Winding through. Alright, let's see. Let's go in this way. Look at the owl's eyes. They're so cool. This is such a good level. We're going across, because we're going to try to we're going to go and try to collect everything here. We got to get a bunch of gems so we can get his full level up here. What? I already got the thing that was over here, by the looks of it. Shout out to me for collecting a bunch of things and not realizing I'm collecting a bunch of things. All right, bum ba da da dum. Look at a little cup of tea! Oh my god, that was the smallest cup of tea I've ever seen in my life. Okay, come on, Cobra Cadaver, we can do this. Pew! Oh, pew! Okay, never mind. Pew! That's how we do it. Hi! Nope! Oh, what do you got for me? Who's who's your villain quest? Kroskro! Skyland's biggest fan? Crash the Skyland's biggest fan? I wonder who that is. It's probably my mom. Actually, I don't think my mom watches my videos. Mom? What a jerk. My mom doesn't even watch my own videos, guys. Isn't that sad? Which way do I go? Is this the right way? I'm, do I go up here? I don't remember. Is this the right way? What is this thing? Gosh, where is, it, where is this going to take me? Back down. Okay. So there was definitely something up there earlier. Oh, that could have been nasty. I know we go this back this way. There's something this way. I know that for sure. Yumpin' Yiminy. The cold front with DJ Chill Bill. Keep changing the station until I get the money. This is pretty catchy, though, I gotta say. Yeah. Prices, prices. <gasps> Persephone? Oh, girly. We are going to get ourselves an upgrade. I am ready for a magic card, but I think I got enough, too. I do. Hold square to play an enchanting sound that charms enemies to fight for your cause. Look at that. This is going to be a fun one. Let's try that on an enemy. Woohoo, here we go. We gotta go find an enemy to try this on now. Sweet, Sweet indeed. Alright, I think we have some enemies coming up here now. Let's see, hold square. Yeah, okay. Alright, let's give it a try. Do I have to be still playing it while it does it? 
Is it not working? Wait, what the? What just happened? Okay, let's go. Let's still read this again just to make sure. Hold square to play an enchanting sound that turns enemies to fight for your cause. They only got dazed. It's only it only works on certain enemies. I bet. No, in this game. Throw five cobra baskets at once. Oh, that probably would have been decent too. Shoot cobra baskets with your magic feet. Power them. Oh, oh. oh the, eh. Launch into active cobra baskets to create a mass explosion. Okay. Um. Don't know what. What was happening there? I was I was charming them. Why wasn't it being super charming? Okay, confused. Regardless, pew. Spring ahead. Spring ahead. Thank you. Fifty. Wow. I don't deserve that. We're gonna go down that hole at the bottom too. I wonder if people if people were like, "What if Crash is gonna remember to go down the hole?" He is. We. Okay, let's try this now. So it doesn't... Oh, you gotta hold it on for a while! Oh, okay! And then they turn... Oh, okay, I just... I didn't know that. I was just screwed it up. Fight him! Fight him! Beat your friends up! Look at that! Oh, that's so cool! Okay, that's cool! That's a cool little ability. I like that one. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but here we go. We're gonna just... <laughs> drops drops the little dudes down, I just realized, too. Here we go. Can I hypnotize Crossco for a, for a spell? <gasps> you can! Look, do him! Fight him! Fight him, Crossco! Yeah! Oh, I just murdered a thing. That's so cool. I love that. That's actually really sick. I like that one a lot. So you just gotta hold it on it for a while. That's why it was being weird for me. Oh, okay, we actually gotta go up for some reason. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Okay, let's get out of here. How much time we got left? Six minutes. Okay, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Is this actually the way out? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that was that was good. Okay, we finally we figured out how to use the thing. Being weird though, I'm hold I'm pressing square a couple times and then it activates that big one. That's weird. Okay, might just be my controller acting up. Better not be. Can't afford a new one right now. Actually, no, I have a wired one. We're, we're fine. Oh, that hurts. Okay. <laughs> We're going to be using that char charm ability a little bit more because that did seem pretty dang fun. It looks like we're not going to be able... Oh, I could have pushed that thing back again. Um, looks like we're not going to be able to get the... Um, what's it called? The last power-up. His, uh, his soul gem. Unfortunately. But that's fine. I don't think we really need that to give him a full rating, in my opinion. Do every move you can and do that. <laughs> Cuts back to the beginning of the video when I'm saying, like, do every move and give them a fair, fair rating because of it. It's five minutes left. We're doing good. We're doing good. What time is it in real life for me? Three. Okay, that's not bad. I still got three more hours. And I got to film one more episode after this. Sick. Watch the boy with the bad guy. Do you see that rocket guy over there? He's going to be my friend now in a minute. Rock, rock, rock guy's gonna be my friend. You ready? Snake That's really cool. Do it. Kill your friends. <laughs> Crash, show him. Show him killing his friends. Fine. Well, can I do it again? Can he get. Can he, you can get charmed twice. Get him. Get your friends. They missed. Sick, dude. That's totally what I wanted. All right. You wasted my time for far too long. Snake. Snake. Oh, wrong way, snake. Snake over there. Snake's on a plane. Snake's on a there. Snake's over there. And I shoot. You set up a good defensive barrier with those snakes, though. Look at that. 
Hey, level up, level ten, let's go! Look at that, he's at level ten. He can now officially compete in the Sky in the Skyliner Royal Rumble, even though it's in SWAT Force and he's in Trap Team. Crash, I have an idea for you for the Royal Rumble in Trap Team. That's not how it works. Don't worry, Royal Rumble is in pre-production. It's happening. We get that kind of far away, hey? It's not bad. The charm move is pretty good, I gotta say. You just you gotta, you gotta use it at the correct time. Like right now. What happened if I charm both of them? Crash is curious. What happens if you charm two enemies or get let them die instead? So see, if he's That's a good there's another good Crash is curious question there. If you charm an enemy and he shoots like that guy who shoots in the air and you stay in the way of his moves, do I still get hurt? Yeah. That one person comments, Oh yeah, Crash, you do. Of course you do, idiot. You're the worst guy too forever. I know. I've been trying to quit for years. That one person's like, no, Crash, don't ever quit. I'm joking. I'm not quitting. I'm too successful and I'm too rich and famous. I don't make like barely any money off of YouTube, just saying. This is basically borderline a hobby and I get some extra money that I can put towards bills. <laughs> but hey, I'm keeping the game alive. No, who's talking about Skylanders? Crash the Skylands fans. That's who it is. Ah, he says. Let's go over here. This is where uh, Cross Crow is, if I'm not mistaken. And we can go murder him and take his blood. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Yeah. It's funky. Oh, it's gonna end anytime soon now, isn't it? One minute. Alright, we're gonna go kill this villain. Oh, can I... Can I... Control the villain? What? <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, I thought he was the villain. <laughs> I'm so confused what just happened then. <laughs> Trap Team, the most unbroken of all the games. Right, folks? So what What will happen if I corrupt him now? Well, can I not? Oh, I don't think I can corrupt him. <gasps> can I corrupt a cuckoo clocker? Oh, darn, come on. No, I want to corrupt a cuckoo clocker. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I got too cocky. Ah, right, we're just gonna quit out here now. It's over now anyway, so. Oh, I wanted to corrupt a cuckoo clocker. That would have been insane. You know, we got 30 seconds left. I need to hear what this alarm sounds like for in the future. So we know what it sounds like. Okay? We got we gotta know. You, you, you oughta know. You know? You audible. You ready? We're gonna hear an alarm now in 20 seconds. Okay? Get ready for it. <laughs> 803 we're still missing one of his gems I might, I'll play with him in my downtime and get his last ability I think 7, 6, here we go the alarm's gonna go off guys, you ready? so we're gonna hear what the new alarm sounds like let's see okay, that's a funky little one I think you can set your timer. People are like, you don't. You can set your timer sound, you know. But I've never actually done it, so that's what it sounds like. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as Cobra Cadaver sits in his little basket, let's cut to just my face and discuss him now. All right, so first of all, I apologize to every single one of you who were probably upset over the fact that he's only level 9 and didn't have all of his abilities. This is not perfect. I'm not perfect. We all have... We all have problems, okay? And this was mine. The fact that I didn't have him fully leveled up. And that's fine. He did great, in my opinion, except when I, you know got cocky and tried to get a cuckoo clocker to uh, be corrupted or controlled. Didn't work. 
his moves now let's talk about that so his main move with the cope with the charming move where he shoots the uh, music notes out and of course being able to charm those enemies i love that once so i figured out how to use the actual charming thing i'm glad i didn't give up on it i tried again because that became definitely a key feature when it came to him i absolutely love that one his main shoot move was great it took out enemies super quickly and the fact that it did really good damage and it bounced out of the walls is pretty good his snake charms where you throw them down of course if you use the other ability where you go in the bottom level it powers them up and of course if you do get his soul gem it will have an option to explode them so setting them up in an area that make them explode i can see that doing some awesome damage so that's where i'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt of that one and say once you get his soul gem i think it'd be a little bit better um i do like the fact you can put down five of them once and kind of make a barrier in front of you so it can do damage to enemies while you're standing there shooting them directly his third move however kind of interesting um I don't see me using that move a lot because it is technically a range attack and you can still get hurt and it kind of slows you down. So the third move was kind of odd. I don't really see me wanting to use that one more versus anything else. And just doing that, it was kind of like a teleport move, which didn't really teleport. So it was an odd choice for the third one. It's, it seems like with certain Skylanders, there's one move that does not fit their repertoire. And that's one for me. Like, I, I'm not sure what they were doing with that one and looking at the actual lineup where he has his moves the only one that kind of would make a difference is if you do the bottom one and you use triangle well actually no it's when you get triangle you can explode the uh snakes with it so like i'm not sure what that one was all about cobra dabble was really dang fun though i really enjoyed it the snakes of course once you get the hang of it and of course that snake charm move is really cool the fact that he is literally a snake charmer and he can charm enemies to fight for you and they do help out and i mean a crash is curious if I ever return it there we go uh, can cobra cadaver's enemies still hurt you I'm going to give him 4 out of 5. I think Cobra Dabber was very fun to play with. He's definitely a Skylander that I would love to check out more with, and I feel like I want to go back and play as him more because I did enjoy my time with him, which is good. Um, that's the biggest thing about a Skylander is if I want to go play with him again. Now, the reason he's sitting on the bottom shelf is because of the fact that he's still in his case, but he deserves to be up there. I think he was very fun, and if you have a chance to get Cobra Cadabra, I know he's probably a little more on the expensive side, definitely give him a try. If it's either King or Regular, it doesn't matter. They both look, they're both they both exactly the same gameplay. They just look different. And in my opinion, King Cobra Cadabra looks better than Regular Cobra Cadabra. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go do it for this episode of Honesty Half Hour, episode 139. If you guys enjoy Cobra Cadabra, let me know in the comments below, and let me know your rating out of 5, of course, and what you are excited for in a future episode of this series. Y'all mean the world. We never, don't ever forget, and next week is episode 140. So definitely come back next week for that one. That's a huge milestone episode. You know something crazy always happens in milestone episodes. But as always, I bid you farewell.